Google Cloud Next 2017 hosted a plethora of talks detailing the future of cloud. If you didn't get a chance to catch Evan Anderson's session on DevOps with App Engine, stay tuned because here's the recap. When you've got a DevOps system in place, the biggest enemy you have is a concept called toil. Toil is the work you do today that you'll need to do again tomorrow, which is a problem because it scales linearly with system growth. And it's work that doesn't need much judgment or creative problem solving. Now the antidote to toil is automation. As you know, there's a lot of data center automation solutions out there already. Uh, some, like a chef, salt, and puppet, refer to themselves as fleet management, while others like a Kubernetes, Mesos, and Docker engine are typically called container orchestration. Uh, both sets of solutions do effectively the same things. They help you manage and deploy images and builds so that you don't go crazy. But there's another layer that removes even more of your toil and lets you take your application management to the next level. And that, my friends, is App Engine. But first, here is Dickerson's hierarchy of reliability, created by the Googlers working on the healthcare.gov project. Each layer moves you from things which are required towards things that are just really nice to have. This chart helps us understand what we need in order to properly provide reliability to a service, which at its core is the whole goal behind DevOps. This is where App Engine fits in. When it comes to all the tools you need to provide reliability, App Engine has you covered. Let's start with monitoring. Because App Engine is a platform as a service, all your top level metrics are already logged and available. Things like request latency and queue times are automatic and can be tracked across the application as a whole or at specific URLs without needing to write any application code. Just open Stackdriver and all this data is exposed alongside monitoring and inspection tools so you can export additional metrics directly or from logs and align them with your instance data. Next is incident response, uh, aka how fast can we get back to normal when uh, things go wrong. App Engine is designed to automatically retain previously deployed versions and all audit logs. When something bad happens, you can roll back to an earlier deployment in a single action. And App Engine will handle all of the traffic splitting and deployments to make this happen seamlessly. Then there's testing and release. Chances are you don't want to test everything in production. Accordingly, App Engine supports multiple concurrent deployed versions and gives you control needed to stage releases and balance traffic between builds. Not to mention, App Engine has integrations with a number of CI tools like Jenkins, Travis, and Circle CI. Which brings us to capacity planning. App Engine makes capacity planning magical. Uh, automatic scaling, including scale to zero for unused versions, reduces the need for capacity planning and any reservations. Finally, at the very top of the pyramid is UX. This one is pretty straightforward. Stackdriver covers a whole suite of UX opportunities to display your data and monitoring information in a bunch of different ways. And you can also build your own dashboards to get focused insight on the numbers that matter most to you. So make sure you follow the hierarchy of reliability and check out the recording of Evan's full session to see some practical examples of using App Engine to stretch your DevOps dollar further. If you want more recaps on great Next content, make sure to check out the rest of our playlist and don't forget the Next World Tour coming soon to a city near you.